This is Servwatch, who claims to be the most advanced RAM tracker. They started as a simple Slack integration, ran a deal on AppSumo and worked tirelessly on their second version. So let's dive in and see if they live up to the hype. Now Servwatch has been mentioned in Forbes and other big news sites. So it definitely shows that Servwatch has some credibility and that the data has been verified because it is being used as a verified source in multiple articles. Now this is the dashboard of Servwatch. I have right now two projects because I have a Danish website and an English website. So you can see here the first one is for my Danish and the second one is for my English. Other than that we get some fast statistics about how many keywords we're tracking, how many keywords have moved up without change, moved down and here we can see in the top 3, top 10 and how often it's checking the specific keywords. So let's dive into my English project here. When we jump into the project we get even more information. We get our average position, again the keyword statistics, our project monthly value and this is based on AdSense. Then we have some information about what we are tracking, how often and our Google Analytics account. Down here we can see our average rankings where it's going up and down depending on how you're ranking. We can see our Servwatch score. And the Servwatch score is because for each of the keywords you can see down here I can set a weight. And that is if there is specific keywords that are important for me I need to set them to high for the weight because then within the Servwatch score graph we will be able to see how healthy our project is. So here you can see that it's going very much up and down. In average it is in the 20s, sometimes it goes a little bit up to 30s, but in average it is the 20s which is good. And this is where you can set your keywords again to the weight and then you will see it on the graph here. Now they do also have a revenue tracker where you can see how your revenue is going for the specific keywords and this is only applicable to you if you're running ads on your website because otherwise your revenue is very different. So again here you can see a graph that goes very much up and down. Sometimes it's at $5 a day, other times it's at $1 a day. And up here you can see on all of the graphs the different Google updates. And that is if you have some rankings and you can see all of a sudden they're just tanking, then it might be because of a Google update. And then you can go in and see what has happened that day. Another thing you can do is between the rankings here you can add notes. So let's say that 9th of March you made an optimization on a specific article on your website then you can write in here optimization of article 2 and then you can write what you did and then save it as a note. Because then you can see here we have an optimization so that means that if all of a sudden after some time you can see that the ranking is spiking positively then it might be because of your optimization. A very small feature but definitely very very good. We do also have analytics and Google search console integrations. And again this is just how many users are on your website. You can see this in Google analytics. And in Google search console it is the same we see in Google search console itself. It is the amount of clicks, impressions, CTR and the average position. We can also see our SERP features and here I'm talking about the FAQ scheme, videos or people also ask. We have a SERP feature timeline as well where we have to pick some specific keywords and then we can compare them. Now moving down to the actual keywords. Here we can see some different things. We can see the actions where we can see the latest SERP screenshot. So what I really like about this is that I can see what they actually looked for when it was that they scanned for this specific search phrase. So you can see that my video is number one here and it's also number one down here in the actual SERP down in the organic results. So that's just to confirm that what they have done is correct. Furthermore then we have some different actions that we can open it in the SERP. We can set it as favorite, we can refresh it and then we can get keyword notifications. Over here we can see how we are ranking. Right now it's in the United States and the country. We can add tags and then we can see our ranks and how the rank has been going over time. And then we can just see a lot more like what the keyword is worth, the CPC. We can see what UL is ranking on the keyword. 
what the language is, when it was created and so much more. Here I have opened up the keyword and here we can see that the keyword is AI Copywriting Rewind 2021. We can see basically the same information, but here we can see how I have been ranking over time. And down here we can see our keyword results and this is snippets. So you can see that I have a snippet called I showcase the five most impactful AI copywriting software from 2021 and discuss them one by one. That is a snippet that I have won a couple of times, the 20th of March, 19th of March. Basically I'm winning it very recently. So that is just to get more information on a specific keyword. Going back to the project, we see the same as we saw before, but down here you can of course set the limit up to 25 to see more keywords. One thing I wish that Servwatch was changing is the speed because I know that they have a lot of data and it takes time to crunch through that. But when I am changing the graph here between the different menu points, it is taking a little bit too much time to load. Right now it's loading fast, but sometimes it's not so fast. But that is a minor thing that they can always fix. In the menu, they also have agency clients that you can work with. So here we can add all of your clients and then we can basically work with the same view you saw before. So let me add the client YouTube and the serve watch is in different languages as well, but I'll just keep it as English. And then we can add the client YouTube. So we now have a client and this client can then use ServeWatch on the behalf of, of, of us. So this is basically like a white label. We can of course edit the client, but now the client can actually sign in and use ServeWatch just as you've seen before. Right now they're running a beta of reports. Here we can either download a report right now where we can basically just select me because I only want to see for me. But when I click right now, I cannot continue. And that is of course because it's still in beta, so they're still working on it. So let's just go back to the menu here. Furthermore, then we have the roadmap, we have some documentation. They do also have a keyword research tool, but right now it is not working. It is giving me a 500 error. And what I really like about the keyword research tool though, is that you can search for long tail keywords. And this is keywords like questions, one question could be, how much does a horse cost? That specific search phrase, they have data on that. And it's so rare that we see SEO tools having data on the long tail keywords because everyone just wants to focus on the small keywords, even though it's not the right thing to do. You should definitely focus on the long tail keywords. And that is what I really like about Servwatch that not only do they have data on it, but based on the data, we can really see whether the keyword is worth ranking on and build an article based on that. Now their pricing is really fair and it's easy to comprehend. They have three plans and they differ not only on the amount of keywords, but also on the features. So do really take a good look to find the right plan for you. So you're sure you get the features you're looking for because Surfwatch is really feature packed when we dive into it. Now the alternatives to Surfwatch is True Ranker and Rank Tracker. We have reviewed both of these products on the channel and they take different approaches. Some of them are very data driven and you can see that because the design is not very optimal and it's not very modern. And the other one has taken the UX approach where it's very modern, easy to use, but the data is missing a little bit. Now, what I really like about Surfwatch is that not only do they have a modern design, they also have a huge amount of data. And that is what goes through Surfwatch overall. It is quality of the data. Quality is one of the highest priorities for Surfwatch. And that's why the future is so interesting. I found four things that I want to highlight. The first one is basically like a weather report where they want to plot in all of Google's updates so you can see it, how it's affecting you and how it's affecting the web in general. Then they're working on adding more users and permissions into the platform because Servwatch is the perfect match for agencies. But in order to use it as an agency, we need users, we need roles and we need to be able to manage the permissions. Furthermore, then they are working on a global map for all of your rankings. 
so you can see how you're ranking on a specific keyword in the United States, in Germany, and even in France, so you can see it as a map which will highlight for you where you need to focus. Because if there are some countries you want to be higher ranking in, but you can see on this global map that you're not, then you know where you need to focus on next. The last thing I want to highlight is local results. This is something we're seeing popping up more and more in the different ACO tools. And this is perfect for hairdressers and local shops because what's important for them is to rank locally in their environment. Their priority is not to rank globally or to rank in the entire country. They want to rank locally so they can catch all of the clients in their local environment. After using Surfwatch for several months, what I really like about Surfwatch is the data sets. You can really feel that all of your rankings are precise and the keyword research tool is so well worked through. Then the integrations to Google Search Console and the analytics are superb and the design overall makes it so easy to read those huge amounts of data. Now it's difficult for me to say what I don't like because I can easily say that it cannot scan my website to find SEO mistakes. It cannot help me build content, but that's not what Surfwatch is about. Surfwatch is promoting themselves as being the most advanced rank tracker. So that is how you can see that they are focusing on that and only that. Surfwatch is a company who has been through a lot but today they are a very solid rank tracker. Whether they are the most advanced rank tracker or not is hard to tell, but they are definitely up there. I want to give Surfwatch four and a half stars. They are doing a phenomenal job with a modern design and huge data sets. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.